it is a real problem. It's, uh, it's something that can make or break a, a project and make or break a small company to put them under. Would it make or break this company that's building these houses? If I've got anything to do with it, it won't, but quite possibly it could, yes. It may look all right to you, but what was once the envy of Victorian gardeners has now turned into a monster and even threatens the London Olympics. Japanese knotweed was introduced to Europe in the mid-18th century by a Bavarian doctor, Philip Franz Balthasar von Siebold. He was stationed in Japan and smuggled two shipments of Asian plants to his nursery in Holland. The reason? Money. Did you know it's been described as the biggest female on earth because mm. it's unable to reproduce by seed and it relies solely on the movement of small fragments of rhizome to actually get it to the new place, so it's amazing it's spread as it has. It does set seed in Japan because it has a male host, yeah. but von Siebold, the chap who brought it in, only brought in female plants, so it never had a pollen partner. If you cut it down in the springtime when it's growing, it'll be back within a week. It grows so fast. So you're never going to be able to fish you're never be able to fish this bit of bank, no. I keep it clear as much as I can, but uh, it's an ongoing job. It's impossible the way this stuff grows, and it's, it's, it's creeping out another nine, ten feet every year. I've got to burn it now while it's dry. Do you know, it was first spotted rampant in the wild at Langley in Middlesex, only a couple of miles from here, well, yeah. in 1902. Eccentric Victorian gardeners took a liking to Sally Rhubarb, as she's affectionately known, because the combination of big heart-shaped leaves and delicate flowers appealed to their austere tastes. Now, it's a nightmare for the developers. I've come to Colnebrook, not far from Dougal's Lake, where plans to convert the old vicarage into luxury apartments have been sabotaged by the dreaded weed. It's, uh, it's something that can make or break a, a project and make or break a small company to put them under. Would it make or break this company that's building these houses? If I've got anything to do with it, it won't, but quite possibly it could, yes. But she was a big girl who was considered to be quite a glamour puss, wasn't she, when she was first introduced all those years ago? Absolutely. A great exotic newcomer, fantastic award-winning plant, uh, able to grow in London in the smog, uh, reliable, flowery, showy. They grew it to cover privy houses, to, to hide privy houses as rapid cover. Cover-tacking knotweed. One primitive, the other extremely scientific. <laughs> 